Now we will see the nature and the shape of the graphs. We will see the displacement time graphs first. As we know that displacement should be taken on y-axis, time should be taken on x-axis. In this graph, there are some situations. The first situation is the object or the particle at rest. In this case, yes, this is the modal graph. time t this is displacement yes on y axis this is on x axis as we know this is seconds this is in meters if the particle is at rest or the object is at rest the nature of the graph will be like this means distance by time it is a constant means uh, the body is not at all moving so what is the nature of the graph a line parallel to x-axis at which point the lines have start that point we can say that s naught this s naught is initial displacement This is one of the situation in the displacement time graphs. And second one, the body is in uniform motion. The object or particle in uniform motion. So in this case, this is the modal graph. This is time t seconds this is displacement yes this is in meters so the object is in uniform motion which starts from zero velocity then you can say a graph like this means a straight line passing through origin having positive slope A straight line passing through horizon having positive slope. There are many other situations we will see one by one. Third example and the third nature is particle with uniform acceleration. Particle or object with uniform acceleration yes the nature of the graph like this if you are taking displacement on y-axis we should take the t square on x-axis because acceleration formula is meter per second square so yes here it is t square or we can take v r t so in this case the nature of the graph will be like this means uh, it is an exponential growth have positive slope This graph indicates the initial velocity or displacement is zero. But initial velocity or displacement is not zero, then the graph is like this. 
again it is t square r t whether it is s r b. So, the intercept on y axis gives the initial velocity or initial displacement of the body. will give initial velocity or displacement. So, like this we can see the different nature of the graphs for different situations. The next one particle with uniform retardation. Retardation means negative acceleration. So, the graph is like this. Again, we can take S R V T square R T. This is the case, then the graph will be an exponential decay or parabola with decreasing slope. If a body projected vertically upwards, then the situation the graph is like this. A perfect parabola which tends from minus k to plus k. Having limits from minus k to plus k. So, these are the different graphs under the displacement term and time variation. Next, we will see velocity time graphs. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.